Post-Deployment Cardiopulmonary Evaluation Network is a group of VA physicians with expertise in pulmonary and occupational medicine. We provide comprehensive clinical evaluations to veterans with deployment-related exposures and respiratory concerns or conditions. Through this work, we strive to better our understanding of the relationship between airborne hazards and longer-term health outcomes, identify possible treatments for related respiratory conditions, and improve care for veterans. Comprehensive testing is a key component of our evaluation, but we know that medical testing can be intimidating when you're not sure what to expect. In this video, we will address common questions about high-resolution CT scans and what to expect on the day of your test. A CT scan, also called a CAT scan, combines multiple x-rays of the body taken from many different angles. A computer program converts these x-rays into cross-sectional images called slices. If you think of the body as a loaf of bread, a CT scan allows your medical team to view each part of your body slice by slice. The images in a CT scan are much more detailed than those obtained from a single x-ray and can help your doctors see changes in bones, blood vessels, and soft tissues. CT scans can have specific protocols that make them better for examining certain areas of the body. A high-resolution CT scan produces a set of very detailed images of the chest that your doctors can use to identify conditions that affect the tiny air sacs, called alveoli, or small airways in the lung. On the day of your CT scan, you should wear comfortable clothing. You will be asked to remove any jewelry or accessories like glasses that could interfere with obtaining the images. Then, the technologist will help you lie down on a table that can move in and out of the CT scanner. In the room, the technologist will coach you through the maneuvers that will be performed during the scan. This includes deep breathing and breath holds. Once you are comfortable, the technologist will leave the scanning room and enter a nearby control room. From this room, they will begin the test. The technologist will be able to see, hear, and speak with you from the control room during all portions of the test. During the scan, the table will gently move in and out of the scanner tube. Because the scanner has parts that rotate around you to collect the images, you may hear mechanical sounds during the active parts of the test. While the first set of images is taken, the technologist will ask you to take your deepest breath in and hold it. After a short break, you will be asked to forcefully exhale all the air from your lungs and then hold your breath while another set of images is obtained. Then, the technologist will help you to turn over to lie on your stomach for the last set of images. While this part of the scan is performed, you will be asked to take a full breath in and hold it. No contrast media is used for a high-resolution CT scan of the chest. This means that you will not need to have an IV placed for the procedure, and you will not have to drink any contrast material. The entire scan usually takes only about five to 10 minutes. Once the test is complete, the images are sent to a radiologist for interpretation. Usually, their report is completed within two business days. Because CT scans use x-rays to create the image slices, they do expose you to a low dose of radiation. High-resolution scans require slightly higher doses of radiation to achieve the necessary level of detail, but these doses are always kept as low as possible. All CT scans, no matter what the protocol, are still considered low radiation exposure. If you have any concerns about the process, you should discuss these with the ordering doctor beforehand. If you have other questions about your test, please visit My Healthy Vet online or contact your local VA radiology department. Music